Expand your English by expanding your vocabulary. Here are 15 advanced vocabulary phrases. Number one is out of the blue. If something happens out of the blue, it happens unexpectedly and without any warning. Now why would you call me out of the blue? She called me out of the blue after we hadn't spoken for years. Number two is come full circle. Life has come full circle. If something comes full circle, it goes back to its original starting point. There is a sense of closure and completeness when something occurs full circle. After traveling the world, he has come full circle and is now living in his hometown. Number three, I'm over it. If you are over something, this means you are tired of seeing it, tired of hearing about it, or are not interested in it anymore. Oh no, it's over, I'm over it. I used to miss my old boyfriend, but I'm over it now. Number four, for lack of a better word. You can say this when you can't find the right word to express how you're feeling. The food was, for lack of a better word, unusual in flavor. Number five is speak of the devil. This is what you can say when you're talking about a person who is not there and then suddenly they appear or they show up. We were just talking about Jane when speak of the devil, she walked in. Number six, to get ahead of yourself. This means you think or act too far ahead. Sometimes you don't consider all of the necessary details. You just want to get to something quickly. Let's focus on this project first. Don't get ahead of yourself by planning the next one. Number seven is hit or miss. Hit or miss describes something that is unpredictable in its quality. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. The restaurant's food is hit or miss. Sometimes it's great, but other times it's disappointing. Number eight is to have second thoughts. To have a second thoughts means you have doubt about your decision. You want to rethink the decision you made. So you have second thoughts. She started to have second thoughts about moving to a new city after visiting it. Number nine is to kill two birds with one stone. This means you can accomplish two things with only a single effort. I think I know how to kill two birds with one stone. Like by biking to work, he kills two birds with one stone. He saves money and he gets exercise. Number 10 is to cut someone some slack. This means to not be critical of a person because maybe they are going through a difficult time. She's been under a lot of stress lately, so let's cut her some slack if she's not her usual self. Number 11 is to have a falling out. We use this to describe a relationship with someone. There is a problem and maybe there is a fight or a disagreement and then the relationship ends or breaks down. They had a falling out over money and haven't spoken since. Number 12 is back to back. We usually use this when talking about appointments. So you have many appointments that are very close together, like one at 12 o'clock and one at 12.15. We can say these meetings are back to back. I have meetings back to back all day, so I won't have time for lunch. Number 13 is cut to the chase. This means you say your point directly without adding any extra details. We don't have much time, so let's cut to the chase and discuss the main issue. Number 14 is to zone out. Have you ever zoned out while in class? To zone out means you disengage your thoughts and you think about something else or you start daydreaming and you're not in the present moment, but in your head thinking somewhere else. I zoned out during the lecture and missed the important points. Number 15 is to get dressed up. This means you put on really nice, maybe fancy clothes for a special occasion. This is not to be confused with get dressed. Get dressed just means you put on your clothes for the day. But if you get dressed up, this means you look very nice and you're putting extra effort into your appearance. We got dressed up for the wedding and looked our best.